Hi, I'm Frank Durant at Boston Comic Con 2014, and we are very excited to be sitting across from Chris Proto. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Very good. Are you having a good Boston Comic Con? Uh, yeah, it's been great so far. Everyone's nice, uh, doing a lot of sketches. Awesome. Uh, yes, yeah, super fun. So, um, we are absolutely, we're a huge Batman podcast, so right. we, have to, we have to start off asking you about Batman. Fair what enough. What got you started working on Batman? What, what got me first? started? Uh, my first Batman comic was uh, Batman and Robin 16, which is the end of the uh, Dr. Hurt storyline. Yes, I love that storyline. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, crazy. That, that, that job just kind of fell out of the, the blue. Yeah. yeah, Grant likes my work on this uh, comic I did called Officer Down, which is this super violent, uh, you know, 80s cop kills the bad guys thing. And right up Grant's alley. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so he liked that enough to bring me on board for the... Uh, conclusion to his four year long story. It's crazy. Yeah. And then uh, they liked that enough to bring me on for Incorporated, so we worked together for I don't know, 20 issues or yeah. maybe it's less than that, 16? I don't know. Something. Because <laughs> um, Batman Incorporated did finish up in the New 52. Are, what are you working on now? Are, like, uh, Grant and I are doing an image book together right now yeah. called Nameless. It is a weird sci-fi horror book. Should come out in the next couple months, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be good. It's it's tough to say. We're both we're both uh, we're both really excited about it. Yeah. People have told me it's my best art ever. I will believe them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, how how do you and Grant work together? Do you guys actually have meetings, or is it all like Skype or something? Uh, like it is. Uh, I mean, he we both live in LA, so we've we, we sit on his giant uh, turquoise couch and talk things over once in a while. Cool. But. Uh, but the real nitty gritty of it is he writes the script and I draw it. And once in a while, when I'm extra confused, I'll uh, I'll email him a question and he'll answer it. But uh, for the most part, it's here, draw this. <laughs> <laughs> so, what uh, Nameless? Can you tell us more about Nameless, or is it still? Uh, we, I, I think weirdo weirdo sci-fi is uh, weirdo sci-fi horror is where we're gonna leave it now. I'm not I'm not sure how much we've publicly said about it. But it's a, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one. Uh, if, if, if I said at the Meteors of Madness, that was kind of a joke title we had for it yeah. early. So that might give that you kind, a... That gives me definitely a feel for it, you know? Yeah, so it's kind of like that, but weirder. Cool. Um, now, I mean, you've stepped away from drawing Batman, but like, are you... Uh, is, is there a character you love drawing in DC that you haven't drawn yet or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I like a lot of DC stuff. I uh, really would like to get to draw uh, a lot more Jack Kirby stuff, like the uh, the, the New Gods, Olmec, Commandy, all that shit. Uh, can I say shit on yeah, your podcast? Yes, all right, That's sweet. the whole yeah. point. It's a podcast. It's all yeah. mine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, I, I like that stuff a lot. I don't know if I've got a real good handle on Superman. I've drawn him a couple times, but I think that would stress me out too much. But uh, yeah, the Kirby stuff. Yeah, the, I guess the, the weirder the better. It might be fun to do. I don't know, a brief stint on. I like. I guess I have the Doom Patrol. I feel like I can. I can nail the Doom Patrol. I like drawing mummies. Yeah, and they just came back in New Fifty Two. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been reading those books. Awesome. Stuff's all right. I'm was so was Niles Calder always such a jerk? I don't think or is that so. a, is that like a new thing? Oh, that was so like that was so kind of like out of the blue him just being like Yeah, I was like I don't yeah, I, <laughs> I don't remember him being like that, but who knows? There's been a, a million Doom Patrol comics over the last 40 years. Maybe that's maybe that has been done. I don't know. So you're a big DC comics guy? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm, a, I'm 36 years old. I've been reading comics for 30 years, so I like I like a lot of stuff. Like I was a Marvel zombie growing up, but since I got the the DC job, I've really, uh, you know, done the deep dive into this. But yeah, I read a lot of these comics. I like them. And even though you are doing an image comic, are you still with DC, or is it? Like... I'm, I'm still very friendly with them. Okay. Uh, I do, I do the odd cover for them, and I, uh, you know, I, you know, meet up with those guys at conventions, and we talk about. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely do, you know, work again for them in the, in the future. Like I'm, I'm booked on Nameless for a while, but there's. There's more DC stuff that uh, I want to do. Might even, maybe even with Grant, who knows? But uh, yeah, there's there's all sorts of stuff that I, hopefully I'll be uh, I'll be in this business for a while. And I can get to uh, play in all the sandboxes. We hope so too. Yeah. Um, now, is there any future projects you're working on that you could talk about? Uh, Nameless is basically it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, entirety uh, of my focus, other than the, other than uh, a random cover here and there. That's basically where my energies are going toward. Um, is there anything you'd like to plug before we... Oh, also, uh, 
Uh, are you familiar with Jack Kirby's Lord of Light illustrations from the 70s? I they, no, I They ended not. up, uh, the CIA stole them uh, and used them in that uh, the Canadian caper that it became that uh, the movie Argo. Really? Oh, yes, those pictures, yes. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so Heavy Metal is uh, reprinting the original Kirby ones, and uh, they're putting up black and white ones and color ones, and they also hired me to do reinterpretations of them. So I've done right. Yeah, that's so I've awesome. so I've done uh, three reinterpretations of those things, and those things are rad. Uh, I did uh, planetary control room, uh, and then the exterior and interior of uh, Brahma's supremacy. I think it was called. Cool. So yeah, very what an absolute crazy dream gig. I mean, I've uh, that that's one of the first Kirby things that I ever that ever really lit my fire. Like I, I discovered that in college. So I've been I've been looking at those drawings for the last 16 years or something, and to get to reinterpret them and get paid for it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's crazy, yeah. kind of a dream come true. Well, thank you so much for the interview. I hope you have a great Boston Rest of Boston. Well, thank you, appreciate thank it. You.